Well, guys, thanks for coming. As always, thank our incredible student body and, and uh, the fans. And Buckeye Walk was outstanding, and so was the uh, skull session. So always a very much appreciative as, as I speak on behalf of our players. Also, Jacob and Noah, today was uh, muscular dystrophy coach. I think it's called Coach for Cure. And I'm proud to say that uh, everyone associated with Ohio State football, and including some, uh, some folks here that uh, were, were gracious enough to donate some money to an incredible cause. You know, we used to wear I wore this patch on my arm for many years, and I, I wore it because someone said, wear a patch on your arm. And I had no idea why I was wearing a patch on my arm. And then uh, this young man is part of our family. I love this guy. He's a guy that uh, makes my day. Uh, it's not just him, his family. And uh, we raised $10,000 uh, for an incredible cause in Jacob's name. And so very appreciative for those of you that also were contributors. Uh, we played much better. Offense line, control the line of scrimmage. The receivers had a very good day. Uh, Offensively, you know, it's close. We just, the, the alarming part is the underthrown deep ball, which is fixable. Uh, it's not fixable when you don't have wideouts that can stretch a field, but we do. And so, and I have not seen the videotape, and you, it's hard to see exactly what goes on on the field, but I know we at least three or four underthrown touchdowns or, or potential big hits. So we have to get those fixed. And, uh, uh, but overall, I thought Cardell played okay. He threw for 288. Um, I still give him the okay because we have high expectations and you know a couple turnovers. Um, I thought Zeke is our most consistent offensive player. Our perimeter blocking was much better. Curtis Samuel is obviously a guy that uh, uh, we need to get that ball in his hand a little bit. And I thought Braxton competed as well. Um, so we're, we're kind of, I feel much better leaving this game as we move forward on offense. Special teams was dynamic. Uh, you know, we just had stupid, pen, you know, they called it Mike Thomas holding on a block punt. That's the first time. That's it. And he said that the guy ran and he tried to get out of his way and he grabbed his shirt, which I'm going to obviously we'll look at that. I don't, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. I haven't seen it, but I've never heard we were going after a block and they called holding and uh, we blocked the punt. So that was a big change of field position. We had a huge punt return all the way down inside the uh, red zone and they got called back. So we have to clean up some penalties, but the effort was good. Defensively, is, uh, I don't think we played our, our typical silver bowl itself. Uh, for the, you know, the interior run was an issue, and I'm sure you can visit with Coach Fickle and Coach Ash. We got to get that fixed. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, but overall, much better performance as we get ready to play a team that's 4-0 and start the Big Ten season. Front row right, Clay. But it was a third straight game with a defensive touchdown. How big a lift is that and with oh, an game improving changer. offense <clears throat> and, and a bonus like that. Yeah, that, it's, it's the style of defense where, you know, we are aggressive. We challenge throws. Uh, I saw it. All I saw is uh, Adolphus running with the ball. And I, I'm not quite sure what happened. The ball was tipped. But uh, that, that's obviously a big change, of, uh, a big momentum pickup for us. But think about our punter, too. Our punter and the punt teams right now, dynamic. We're protecting. We're covering. There's no return yards. Net 51. Uh, that's a good day. Far left, Austin. Urban, it seems kind of odd to think of Cardale underthrowing somebody yeah. with his arm strength. Is there any, anything you think you can make of that before you go watch the film? Uh, I talked to both of them because JT had one too. And uh, they're called inside nines, and that's, uh, that's kind of a staple of our offense, you know, throughout these last three, four years. That's, and I think, uh, you know, it wasn't, you know, it's the Devin Smith, but they were, they were underthrown because the whiteouts were behind them. And so that's something. Uh, I'm going to find out. You know, and, uh, the one thing that we do is if we find out we're not, we're not good at something, we practice the heck out of it. So we're going to practice the heck out of it. Front, uh, right over here, Jared. Yeah, Urban, you mentioned the offensive line, crediting them for their work. W what did they do in practice this week? W what kind of commitment did they make to show that kind of improvement this week? I think they, uh, they got beat up a little bit. and they got. Uh, I mean, I know I was exhausted by the time Paul Keels I mean, I, I asked me question after question after question. And... Uh, well, so I think what I did, I'd Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I got asked the same questions. And I'm sure, I know I was tired of hearing about it, so I'm sure they were too. And, uh, and Ed Warner did an excellent job. And, and so that's what we expect, and we can still get better. Far left, Doug. Urban, you talked about having receivers today that could stretch the field and do that. Did you know coming into today that you had those guys? Were you wondering about that at all? No. Yeah, it was a little bit, you know, because we haven't separated like we, we need to. We separated today, and when I looked up, and once again, what this is, I'll have more information on you next week for you after I watch it. But it, I, I can count five times we were behind them. And uh, we had, I think, just one or touchdown. I think we had one or two PIs, but uh, they were underthrown. 
the underthrown interception was underthrown. So uh, I think we kind of figured out it's, it's, a, it's a, Corey Smith had a good day. Jalen Marshall had a good day. Those are kind of over the top guys. And we saw Braxton make some big catches in the opener against Virginia Tech. Where is he just in his continued progress of being oh, we're trying to get him the, the ball. You know, we're, we're, I mean, that's an effort to try to get, you know, we're releasing him out of the backfield. We're flipping him the ball, line him up a quarterback. We're just not having the big hits right now, and uh, we will. Front row right, Tim. Yeah, Irvin, a real quick follow-up on that. Uh, has Braxton been uh, showing some, uh, I don't know, lack of confidence? What, what do you see out of him when he comes back to the sideline after some of those? Oh, no, no, Problem. it's just uh, we're not, we're not, you know, I don't necessarily think it's him. Although I do think, did you drop one today? You know, just the yeah. concentration of. Uh, he was trying to make a move and drop the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, it's not lack of effort. It's not lack of one, two. It's not attitude. It's, it's great. And yeah. he had a good week of practice. We're going to keep pushing. Have you ever been around a defense that scored three touchdowns or touchdowns in three straight games? I can't remember. Yeah. But, I mean, what is it like? Like. What is going on with that group more than anything else that you like? Well, I mean, actually, I bet you my, the reaction that I imagine you see when I imagine a couple guys who come up here is going to be a little bit disappointed that they didn't play better. Um, yeah, we score on defense, but uh, as a whole, I felt, once again, not until I see the videotape and talk to our coaches, that we could play better. And the expectation level right now of our defense is very high. There was a couple years ago, you would have took that and said, oh, nice job. That's not good enough right now. Front row left, Bill. It looked like there was a concerted effort to Im increase the tempo. Uh, could you address that? And also the play calling mechanics, did you change anything this week? Oh, not really. I mean, uh, the one guy that's getting more comfortable is Tim Beck uh, upstairs. I thought he did a very good job today. And it's the, the way that uh, we've always run it is Ed, myself, run this. Let's script the series much better today, much more organized. And you have to do that from upstairs. So he's, he did a nice job today. And the tempo. And the tempo is something that uh, we're looking for cleaner defenses than we saw and not be, you know, not playing uh, defense on offense. And we were much better at that today. And last questions, front row right, Bill. The deep ball to uh, Curtis Samuel. Corey Smith was right in the same area. It was, who was the intended receiver? I'm sorry? The deep ball to Curtis Samuel. Corey Smith was almost yeah, right uh, next to him. Corey, uh, uh, Curtis is the second level guy, but just reacted to the ball. That was thrown, I think, to, I think to uh, uh, Corey Smith. They're not designed to stand right next to each other, if you ask me. <laughs> Might be an idiot, not that big an idiot. Thank you very much. Thank you.